Hi there guys. Uh, I've had a bit of a busy day today. I just literally just got in the door. But uh, I'm eager to have a look through this bag of goodies I've got. It is computer parts. I've only had a quick glance in the top because uh, I've had a busy day. I haven't had a chance to sit and study it. Uh, this motherboard was in a computer case that was in a pile of scrap sitting at my uh, friend's house when I went round today so uh, I need my so uh, I don't know if it works there's no clock battery so I'm going to have to chuck one of those in and power the board up it's got two choices it'll either work or it won't I'm not fussed either way, it's a free motherboard. <laughs> Excuse me, Nemo. So, shall we have a look at it? Shall we do a lucky dip? Let's um, stick our hands in and we'll see what we can find. Oh, there's a few bits in the top here that I threw in the top that are not actually computer related parts. I'm just going to pull those out. Anything else? Like, like anyone? Caravan marker light. <laughs> uh, right, so, first thing on the top is this. That looks like, to me, a front panel that plug the audio cables into the rear connectors. So it looks like a looks like a um, um, upgrade thing panel, but without having to use onboard ports. Let's just have to take it out of the Ziploc bag. I'll put you on the floor like that so I can show you, so I can have hands free. So I've just I've just extended the tripod legs as well. I'm going to give you a bit of view. Ooh. Let's have a look. Uh, the USB connector and whatnot, that all goes on the motherboard. There's the connector for it. So, yeah, I suppose that screws in the front of your computer case. But I've never seen these before on one of these. It's a new way to do it. Nemo's a little bit excited to see me because I've been out all day. It's now 20 past midnight and I've only just got home. Oh look, it's like I need more of these. <laughs> mm, let me get tested to see if it works. It is only an HP CD writer. There's a IO plate for the motherboard. fans. Yeah, they're only small and there's a they've also got a filter. But, uh, I'm sure with the many computers I've got I can put those in. I don't think they're um light up. I can't see nothing on there that makes them light up, so they're just a decorative plastic in a decorative colour I should say. They just clip onto that filter as well, so I could use them independently if I wanted to. Another one? <laughs> I think my cat wants to help. <laughs> Come out. You squished me bag. What we got here then? Got some memory. I did have a quick look at that when I was looking at a glance in the bag and I believe that is just some standard Kingston DDR memory. Oh, zip locks are so annoying. Let's have a look. Right. Yeah, Kingston. I can't say, are they both Kingston? No, this one's different. 
it's got brand on it. 512 megabyte. That's the 512 megabyte code. Apparently brandless at the minute. I can't see a brand on the sticker anyway. It's got Bravo written on the the um, memory chips themselves. And, uh, that one's Kingston. I do apologise for my sniffy nose. I've been out in the cold and my nose always gets dribbly. Asus one. What is it? It's a disc rewriter. Mm. More to the collection if they work. Ah, we've got some more packaged stuff. I've just found a couple more fans. Here's another one. That one's got a strip going around it. So I bet this one lights up. So I've got some of these on one of my other computers. Another orange one. Ooh, it's complete with the mountain screws in that one. There is some a few bits in here that look interesting, which I'll fish out in a minute. A mobile phone battery. <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna be doing anything with that. That, from the size of it, has got to be an old processor fan. Possibly. And it's got three wires going to it, so... I wouldn't mind betting that was one that was screwed to a... heatsink. Shut that over there. Ooh, I've got a video card. got something else that's a... PCI as well, I'll show you. Well, this one's an AGP, but the other one's a PCI. I'll show you that in a ticket. But that's the, after this video card, there's only one more um, card. Hmm. Interesting one. So, it's our video card with DVI. I have no clue if any of this actually works. What brand is it? PMY Technologies Europe. GeForce. Uh, I can't quite read. I think it's 8280. I'll get my magnifying glass on it later and have a look. DDR 256 megabyte AGP. Well, that wouldn't have been a bad card back in its day. It won't compete with the modern stuff. Now, uh, whose idea was it to invent Ziploc bags? <laughs> Especially when you can't open the damn things. Here we go. This is the last item that's, that was in the bag. Hmm, interesting. It's a Win TV card. <laughs> the best TV for your PC. Hmm. Interesting. It's got AV input on that as well. So does that mean I can connect other peripherals to it? DVD player, video player. I bet the TV bit still works. Because I bet that's for um, analog TV that no longer exists. It'd be great if they did a preview version of one of these. But uh, I doubt this does it. So, uh, yeah. That's my little hoard that I a friend of mine who I've been to give a hand to today, uh, he picked them up for me. Well, apart from the motherboard, I rescued that from a defunct conf um, computer case in his scrap pile before that got to 
took away today. So, uh, I don't think I really need any more disc drives. One of them actually looks damaged. The front on this one's barred out there. Yeah. It's getting a bit late to check anything out now, but... I can do that in the morning. And I'll Google this in the morning as well and see if I can find anything on there, any drivers or anything. Install it and uh, see exactly what it does because I've never ever had one of those. The closest I've got is my Sony Veo over there, which has got uh, your standard AV inputs front and rear to uh, enable you to take footage from like a, um, a video recorder or DVD player or perhaps a um, digital 8 camera I think that's all you can use I'm not sure I've never used anything like that so that's something I can play with in the future uh, <coughs> it's actually getting short on DDR memory so I'm quite glad please there's a couple of sticks of that in there still can't see what this Kingston one is no doubt it's printed on here on this sticker somewhere and I Perhaps my eyes are just getting too tired now to see it. So, pretty much before I go to bed, I'm just going to check things out on the computer, check all my emails and whatnot as I've been out most of the day, and uh, call it a night. So, uh, yeah, I was a bit of an eager beaver to... Uh, oh, we've got an, up, an extension. Expand it. There, yeah, it's definitely getting late at night. Sort of like an extension cable here. It's got a fan connector on it. Very handy to have because uh, most of the motherboards I've come across only have their one header for a chassis fan. So, uh, and most fans have that type of connector on, unless you're lucky enough to get one like uh, this one that has that type on it already fitted. Uh, yeah, that is the only one like that. But, uh, if you've got a filtered fan deck like this, and uh, here, two separate cables, and you've only got the one header on the motherboard, you're a bit stuffed. So uh, that cable would be useful. One on the motherboard and one on the cable. And my cat is now investigating the other bag. I'm investigating that bag behind me. It's full of, full of empty tubs and stuff. I was giving them because I'd probably be handy for Lego and stuff. Basically, it's just a bag full of old Chinese takeaway tubs. Handy tubs, though, to keep. Very handy tubs. Anywho, I'm not sure if I'll keep that because it does look a bit there. But uh, I've got a twin fluorescent light in my stepdad's workshop where one of the ballasts had blown. So only one of the lights work. It's not a big problem, but we only really need the one tube working. But. Uh, I've got a bit of OCD when it comes to lights. If I see one not working, I want to make it work. <laughs> so, uh, it was there, so I grabbed it. It should do the same wattage tube that would go in there. So, uh, I can but try, I can but try. Okay. I'll bring my messenger up. Uh, not messenger, browser. I've definitely been busy and I'm definitely tired if I can't even remember what a browser's called. Uh, I'll just chat to you for a bit. Ooh. I'm popular on Facebook. I've got four private messages. But, uh, I'm not going to let you see them. <laughs> so, let's have a look at these messages. Yeah. 
Someone messaged me, asked me if I wanted another couple of uh, free bikes, but uh, I've only just got the message. So I hope he's still got them, because he wanted them, need them, needed them gone ASAP. So, that was eight hours ago, though. Late afternoon. Yeah, he's probably still got them. I can't imagine he'd have got rid of them, so I may have another couple tomorrow, then. Which is good. But need us some cash. <laughs> Well, he'll get that message when he wakes up in the morning. Uh, oh, several messages. <laughs> Bob, right. Completely losing the track. Losing the track? Losing track of what I was doing. Right. I'm getting messaged by a friend now who's obviously missed me all day. Melissa. What was I doing? I pulled up this bookmark list for something I can't remember now. Oh, yeah, emails. If you can hear that in the background, that is my cat. I don't know what the heck he's doing. He's having a fit with the bag. <laughs> Nemo, I do worry about you sometimes. You see, cats are easy to amuse. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> this video went from boringly quiet to entertaining. <laughs> I've put your food down, it's in the kitchen, you numb nut. Uh, anyway. I'm going to end the video, I think, and uh, get sorted out online and bugger off to bed. So, uh, talk to you all again soon. <laughs>